Hi everyone, this is Lindsay from Essential Living and this is my second video of my three-part series which details my cochlear implant journey. So, great news. My surgery is done over with. Um, it went very smoothly. My doctor even said that he could detect nerve activity in my ear, which is absolutely fabulous. And I have to say the surgery was not that bad. Um, I was definitely on pain meds the first day. You probably saw my Facebook post and just know that I was under the influence of heavy, heavy drugs during that time. But uh, the second day, no pain meds and everything is healing. So I'm really, really, really happy so far. And in two weeks, uh, this bad boy is going to get turned on. Um, I've actually been practicing. I've been wearing it um, quite often just to get used to the feel of it. And once it's turned on, then my next chapter can begin. All right, so today I'm going to answer the question, what is a cochlear implant? When I shared the fact that I was going to get a cochlear implant with many friends and family, they had many questions like, what the heck is a cochlear implant? How does it work? And can't you just wear a hearing aid? Are they actually going to put a hearing aid in your ear? These are all very fair questions and I'm going to answer them and then some. All right, so let's get started. What is a cochlear implant? And just a little disclaimer before we begin, this is a highly simplified version of what a cochlear implant is. Um, I am not a science person or math person. I am definitely right-brained. I love English. I love writing. I love history. None of the math and science stuff. But let's get started on my simplified version. All right, so there's two parts to the cochlear implant. One is the um, internal device, and that was actually inserted into my cochlea during the surgery. They also placed a magnet up here behind my ear so that, it, um, that I could keep everything in place. So that's the internal part. The external part is right here. You can probably see I'm wearing it right now. I'll take it off for you. I've got to fix my hair. Um, this is the external device. And this is the magnet, so like where it attaches up here. So you can see that. Let me just stick that right back on. As you can see, it's pretty discreet too. So when I have my hair down, you can't even really see it. So how does it work? Well, there has been some sort of damage to my cochlea. We don't know exactly what transpired, but um, it doesn't work correctly. Um, so sound actually comes in to my ear and taps on an auditory nerve instead of going into the cochlea like it does for most of you watching this video. I hear sound very differently. Basically my brain will learn to interpret that as different sounds. So for instance, um, someone can say, hi, how are you? I'm told that at first on a cochlear implant it sounds um, very robotic and you can't really make out the words. But over time, and with a lot of occupational therapy, my brain should be able to interpret that as, hi, how are you? Now, what is the difference between a cochlear implant and a hearing aid? Well, a hearing aid actually amplifies sound. So if you have hearing loss, like your, your hearing 100% is here, let's say you have 50%, it amplifies the sound and allows you to hear better. Um, well, as we discussed before, a cochlear implant is completely different because my cochlea doesn't work right. So anything that amplifies sound is just going to amplify bad sound. Um, instead, this bypasses the cochlea and tops on my auditory nerve, like we discussed. So they're, very, they're two very different things. And no, they don't implant a hearing aid inside my ear. It's kind of a different process, which I already discussed. Another thing I wanted to address is a lot of people think that once the cochlear implant is turned on, that I automatically can hear. But that's not the case. I've been deaf in my right ear for over 21 years, and given that it's been such a long time, I most likely at first will just hear squabbly noises, I'm told, or robotic noises, and I won't really be able to make out syllables or sound. Um, again, that's going to be a long process. I have to do a lot of occupational therapy, a lot of word testing, a lot of hearing tests. Um, it's a long road, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's very daunting. I will never ever have natural hearing. I'm going to hear more mechanical hearing, I'm told. Um, things that sound, again, more robotic. So that was also hard to deal with too because I really had to grapple with the fact that, you know what, my natural hearing is gone. Um, it's not totally gone in this era, but it is gone in this era. This is the second best. So thank God for modern medicine. I have my fingers, legs, toes, arms, everything crossed. Um, and I'm very hopeful that this is going to be successful. I hope you join me next week. Uh, it's activation day! 
where they're actually gonna turn on this guy and I'm hopefully gonna hear sound for the first time in 21 years. I'm gonna bring you into the room with me and you get to share the experience. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. As always, like this video and please share it with people, especially this one. It's really important to me that we form a community and we stick together on this. Um, because before, I hadn't really reached out to anyone else that was hearing impaired. And once I kind of came to terms with it and it reached out, I was embraced with open arms and now I'm feeling better about everything. And if you're going through something similar, reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions. I would love to meet you, even virtually. Hopefully I will see you next week and I'll be in a really good mood. All right, until then, goodbye.